With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Today we will be solving the given question which says if the energy E, which is equal to g to the power p, h to the power q, and c to the power r, where g is universal constant. H is Planck's constant and C is velocity of light. Then the values of P, Q, and R are. So we have been provided as E is equal to g power P, H power Q, and C power R. Let us name it equation one. Now, if we write it in dimensional formula, we will get m power one. L power two and t power minus two for E, which will be equal to m power minus one, L power three, and t power minus two whole power p. Next, m power power nothing that is one, L power two and t power minus one with whole power q, followed by L T power minus one whole power R. As we know the solution or way to solve it, it will become M power minus P plus Q L power three P plus two Q plus R and T power minus two p minus q minus r. So here we will apply principle of homogeneity of dimension. So we will get minus p plus q is equal to one. We'll name it equation two. Then we'll get three p plus two q plus r is equal to two, which will be equation three, and two p minus q minus r is equal to minus two, which will be our equation four. Now, adding equation number. Three and four, we get p plus q is equal to zero. Similarly, adding equation number two and five, which is our equation number five, this is our equation five, we get. Q is equal to one by two. Therefore, we have the value of Q here. Let us remember it for for further usage. Next, we will uh, put the value of Q in equation that is from two. That is equation two. We get P is equal to Q minus one, which will become one by Two minus one. Therefore, we will get value of p is equal to minus one by two. Here we have also found the value of p. So therefore, we have the value of p and q. We will put it in equation three. So as per our equation three, when the values are put, it will become three into minus one by two. Plus two into one by two plus r, which is equal to two. On solving this, we will get the value of r is equal to five by two. Therefore, we have our values. That is, p is equal to minus one by two. Q is equal to one by two, and R is equal to five by two. 
let us compare these values with our options and figure out which option is correct. So, on comparison, we can see that our first option that is option A matches our findings. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Hope you all understood. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.